What the hell is this? Hello everyone to another night of Uber Eats and door dashing. It is middle of the week Wednesday. We got our first offer. Oh yeah, we have a Burger King $6.54 for 2.9 miles. Let's get it started. That's actually not too far. It is Burger King though, which is behind us. But yeah, man, I was just about to do my intro. We got hit with a pretty decent offer so far. We're gonna take it to get this night started. It is 6.15. And like I said, middle of the week, it is a Wednesday. And we're gonna get it cracking. Let's go ahead and turn around here and head on over to our Burger King. Okay, we just got to the Burger King. Let's see what we have here. Two items, two double cheeseburgers. Oh gosh. All right, that should be fairly simple. Uh, David? All right, appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, got you. Just two of these things. No worries, man. Take care. Thank you. Tiny little thing, dude. Two little cheeseburgers. Okay. It's going to take us to a new route that we've never been before, at least on video for you guys which is going to be my side of the beach area. And we are cutting through our mall, which is way faster and way easier than the road. As you can see, there's no cars around me, so I'm just cutting through and we're gonna get there in record time. A little bit low energy today. It is Wednesday, hump day, middle of the week, but we're gonna get it done. Looks like we're only about six minutes away and hopefully we can take the nice little coast route into downtown besides our usual midtown route. It's a little more scenic, that's for sure. Hopefully there's some restaurants along the way that hook us up. Okay, here we are. It's almost like a nursing home center. It says leave with a reception for room 39A. Hello. I had a um, Uber Eats order that said leave at reception, and then um, the room number is 39A. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Oh, it's automatic. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that was a quick 4.54 to start the evening fairly fast as well not a lot of traffic um, but we are taking the good old beach route to downtown which like I mentioned earlier is a lot more scenic unfortunately we did not catch the sunsets oh okay it's still a little bit light you can kind of see the skyline there So I'm sure they're closed. Maybe they're just testing out the lighting, but there's the boardwalk. We're gonna go down, cross the bridge, and then the bike path that goes into downtown is just pretty much right there. You just gotta follow it as it curves along the river. But it's looking nice. It's just a little sneak peek of what summer will look like. Everything is lit up during summer. Oh, 10 miles or 9.2 miles for 1961. That's going to be a big pass for us. That is pretty much a car only trip, but we just made it to the downtown bike path. We're going to mosey on down here and see if we can't find a better order than that one. Sitting here, we got a offer for 352, 2.2 miles. No way, dude. That's what would you tip like 50 cents? No, thank you. Come on, guys. We got to do better than that. 2.5856 Chipotle. Hell yeah, we will take that one. Hopefully they're ready. Chipotle takes forever sometimes. So we're going to take our time getting over there. We just arrived. Looks like we're just getting a burrito bowl. Simple enough. Let's go grab it. Esteban G. Esteban? Oh, nice. I think that's it. Cool. Thank you.
That must have been the quickest Chipotle order I've ever gotten. Insane. Let's head on over to Esteban. We got a double 2.5 miles 903 for sushi. We will accept that. Okay, but first, first is Esteban. Then we'll go get some sushi. Wow. Nice. 2.2 miles, $9. That's easy money. Let's go. That's a quick one. Now on to the next. Man, is it me or am I just getting faster at these drop-offs? That was a really quick drop-off. Straight to business. On to the next. We're going to a sushi place. So I definitely got to take care of that. Sushi likes to roll around, right? But uh, should just be a minute away. Headed there now. Here we are, MG Sushi. Let's see what Ryan got. One item, that's good. Sushi sashimi combo. Sounds good. For Ryan. Hello, I had a pickup for Ryan. I'm oh, right there? Okay, I'll verify it for you. Thank you. Cool, thanks guys. You too. Wow, another easy pickup. That was on time as well. Cannot ask for better than that. I just got the biggest flat of my life. Oh, jeez. This is not good. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Oh, my God. A thick old piece of metal just killed me. Oh my god, where is that thing? I heard it. I was trying to pop it out. Oh, I chucked it somewhere. Oh my goodness. Where did it go? This thing right here. What the hell is this? This thing absolutely murdered my tire right now. Oh man. That is not good. Holy crap. Looks like we're walking the rest of this one. <laughs> the biggest chunk of metal ever just hit my tire. And now it is dead flat. Oh boy. This sucks. Well that, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely the end of my night. Oh boy, look at that thing. Let me shine some light on it. Absolutely wrecked. This huge gash. I just let out all the air all at once. Well, time to call some emergency roadside, right? Oh gosh. Well guys, I'll let you know if anything else happens, but that's the end of my night. It is absolutely destroyed. And I'm definitely not riding on rim. Alright, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Well guys, it's the morning after, and this is what I'm working with. We have got completely flat, fat tire. You can see the gash right here is uh is huge flat out try to do its thing but that thing just that chunk of metal just absolutely shredded it instant instantly all the air just disappeared um so yeah the tube and the tire for sure gone i'm gonna have to replace that had to take off the front tire to fit it in my car because i did have to get a ride home last night i did try to fill it up and all that with the air compressor nothing happened so yeah this is it this is the aftermath i wish i kept that metal thing that actually did the damage right here but uh, i don't know i was just in my moment i was just so heated and pissed that i threw that thing away into the bushes so but it was basically like a four inch metal 
almost like it looked like a U. It almost looked like a Batarang from Batman, you know, like a ninja star almost. So that took it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix it myself, man. Um, the bike shops are my, around my town, they don't really uh, service bikes that are not sold by them, which is lame, but that's how it is. So first things first, I'm going to try to get this tire off. And then we're going to take the tube out and then tire off the rim. And then we'll probably have to replace it all. But yeah, this is going to be a project. I'm not sure if I'm going to have all the tools, but I'm going to try my best. 